going to open up and take a look at uh, one of the latest releases from Fantasy Flight Games. It's a, uh, I don't know if it's a true reprint, but it's a, at least a reimagining of the classic game Fortress America. And take a quick look at it. You can see it says it comes with over 300 new plastic figures. You get a rule book, a game map, four reference sheets, a graveyard sheet, four red six sided, four white eight sided, four blue ten sided, black laser dice, 96 infantry, 48 hover tank, 36 mobile units, 36 helicopters, 24 bombers, 30 cities, 24 partisan units, 11 laser miniatures, miniatures 31 partisan cards, 24 invader cards, 35 western invader markers, 30 southern invader markers, 25 eastern invader markers, 11 targeting markers, 1 turn markers, and 3 foothold overlays. So, open it up and we'll look at each of the individual components in here. We'll look at them as a group of what they are. I believe the basis of this game, I never played the classic version, but the basis is that one player plays the United States and everybody else playing. It's up for two to four players, so it's either one on one or one versus two or one versus three. So one player would play the United States and then the rest would be looking to uh, conquer. Each little catalog. A rule book here. Looks pretty basic. Give you a description of the contents. Goes into the game terms, how each of the things work. Looks like it gives some examples. And it is. 24 pages all together. We have the first little set of cards here. I believe someone complained about me tearing the bags open like that. I only do that because I don't want to damage these components. I've tried to take it out without tearing the bag before and it tends to bend these cards. But this is the graveyard sheet, or I guess the uh, remove units go to. And then we have a quick reference sheet here. Take a closer look at it. Kind of has the order of play, the action sequence, the combat sequence goes to the dice results here and what they do and the unit specification chart and then on the other side it has some explanations of some special rules and then some examples of a couple of those special rules so you get full cards just like that set of tokens here. This is one sheet of tokens. So you have your some overlays that go on the map like they look like uh, maybe they're points of capture for each of the different three armies invading. Proof of purchase. Looks like we have some designations for the different attackers like some little radar blips.
Patrick flag there. And then the backs are a little different artistic representation. I don't know if they're the backs kind of have a helicopter skyline on them and the fronts just have little shields. So like the next thing is the game board. It looks to be fairly large. Maybe a six panel game board here. out of the way. So we'll open it up. And it is six panels. And you can see you got territory symbols which is oil, agricultural, mineral, and city. You have different zones to attack, a blue zone, a red zone, and a yellow zone maybe where the attackers move on from. Looks like you have a tracker to keep track of the captured cities. And turns, so it looks like it's either 10 or 11 turns. Kind of have your little scale thing. That is the game board. Decent size to it. Now we'll have a look at some of the miniatures. We get green, red, yellow. Size playing cards, size cards, and you have some blue. And that is everything in the box. So we'll just, uh, looks like these are the bad guys. Or depending on how you look at it, they're bad guys. Looks like these are the U.S. pieces. And then these look like they're... Uh, they look like just pieces that you are used on the board. I don't know if they have any allegiance in particular to them. Let's get the real book real quick. They're partisan units. City, city markers. So we'll just open up some of the ones here and take a look at a few of the different types. So it looks like here's your infantry guy. Looks like you have a helicopter guy. It looks to be a multiple piece thing there. You have some bomber models. Looks like you have a tank model. Those look to be the different troop types, and I believe the all the color ones are all going to be the same. Have those four different troop types. And then in the gray bag, looks like you have a city marker, a partisan marker. like a militia guy. Looks 
like we have a I'm not sure what this is looks like there may be two pieces to it some sort of artillery laser kind of thing. I don't know what the other piece of that is. I want to see. It's just a uh, little two-part thing. And I think the laser goes on it. Kind of like a little artillery piece. You get a bunch of those in this bag. You have your dice here. So you have some reds. Some whites and some blues. One just ten cider by itself. You can see that they have little markers on them. And you have a bunch of cards that come with it. Looks like you have uh, some cards for the different invaders. The U.S. stack's much larger, of course. But they just, I guess they give you this one, for instance, it says place one helicopter, one mobile unit, one hover tank in Chicago, then discard, discard. So I don't know if you draw and play or if you hold a hand. But, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like you get about eight per, uh, You get eight red, five, six, seven, eight yellow, and probably eight blue. And these are just some different cards that can play. I don't know if they recycle for the invaders or not. But that is everything that comes in the new version of Fortress America from Fantasy Flight Games.